This was my best Venusaur gameplay ever guys. Check this play out. We're getting dove by Mr. Mike here, but through the heal of the point we're able to survive. Now the enemies are about to get Dreadnought. I line up the snipe. Not only do I get the Dreadnought, but also a double takedown. Amazing guys. Yo, you're watching Shuriko, we're back with some more Pokemon Unite and in this video we will be checking out Venusaur once again, this time with the Solar Beam build and an Energy Amplifier which makes you deal so much damage with that Unite move, followed up with that Solar Beam, you can pretty much one-shot any enemy squishy Pokemon in Pokemon Unite, it is a lot of fun this build and in this master gameplay you will see this was probably the most satisfying gameplay I ever played. I literally completely dismantled this 2v2 here and I completely dismantled the mid and late game as well, pretty much hitting almost every single solar beam, guys. So make sure to stick around until the end, because at the end as well, it is gonna be quite the surprising and satisfying result. But without uh, spoiling any further, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any further life-altering Pokemon Unite content. And if you want to add a couple pounds of extra muscle mass to your body, um, again, subscribe, ring the notification bell. It works. Trust me. I'm just kidding. Anyway, back to it, man. We have that energy amplifier. So this is pretty much the build. As you can see, man, we're completely dismantling this lane. I pretty much got every single wild Pokemon in this lane so far, even against such a strong lane as Mr. Mime and Lucario. We were just able to completely outplay them. And we get this one as well. Like, this is absolutely insane, man. Crazy how we're also getting lucky, you know? Crazy how lucky we're getting because the Razor Leaf just, you know, does that DPS thing. And it's not really that reliable to last it with, but so far I was able to get pretty much everything. Am I gonna get this as well? Yeah, easy. <laughs> he was waiting, trying to last hit it, but no shoddy. Now again, back to the build. I already showed you the Solar Beam and Sludge Bomb build, and while it is not the best Venusaur build right now, as you guys know, Venusaur is really broken with the other build, with the Petal Dance Giga Drain build. This is still, in my opinion, the most fun Venusaur build. It turns you into that siege cannon that just deals so much damage from super far away with those solar beam snipes. And as I'm saying, man, that build is still very, very, uh, very strong. Very, very tough to play, though. As you can see in this gameplay, um, I will perform really well, so you can definitely take some notes. But yeah, the build that I showed you is pretty similar to what I have shown you in the past in that Solar Beam video where I went for double glasses, so choice specs and the wise glasses to maximize our special attack, to maximize a long range poke we get from the Solar Beam. And then as a last item, I usually use a focus band to be a, be a little bit more healthy. But this time around, while we eject in and end this enemy IV source life, um, this time around, we went for a full damage style with that energy amplifier as i said man and it really turns this into a one-shot monster from super long range super fun to play your combo is gonna be you want to throw that sludge bomb first throw the unite move you get the 21 percent bonus damage on your solar beam that you will follow up with you get the 21 percent bonus damage on the unite move as well and the sludge bomb you throw that before and as you can see man we're just hitting all these snipes guys it is crazy man look at how much damage we can deal in this fight as well i'm not sure oh he misses it man it is my lucky day not only with these razor leaf last hits earlier but also with this guy being a little bit you know a little bit confused i guess but as you can see we're just poking him out man doing so much damage and check this out man enemies doing dreadnought it seems doomed for us man but i do index finger on the mini map so i can scroll while moving and while using that solar beam lining it up perfectly with the vision i gained with that three finger claw technique on the mobile device and then yeah getting that last hit man getting the dreadnought again i told you this is gonna be super satisfying and um my dive cremorant is able to get the quadra kill cleans the fight up beautifully done by him but yeah Again, that um, 
you throw the sludge bomb first by the way or you try to if the enemies are too far away of course you're just gonna uh, start off with that unite move but if you are able to throw the sludge bomb first keep in mind it reduces enemy special defense so you want to throw that out first before the unite move and the solar beam combo but yeah there's not much else to really um give you tips about the rest of this is just or the rest of the secret behind this venusaur with solar beam is just get good at the solar beam hits you know it's really tough it is definitely one of the hardest pokemon in the game if you play it this way very ironic that it is the one of the easiest pokemon in the entire game if you play the petal dance build and at the same time the most broken one but yeah this build still definitely worth playing still super fun again you guys know my opinion i think this is the best mage in the entire game if you play it this way even better than that Premarant, in my opinion um with the surf of course Premarant with uh, dive is not really a mage it's more of a marksman it's more of an assassin even but yeah man guys as you can see this is just crazy so far what we've been able to do you saw how much damage i dealt in the in the thumbnail as well right i believe it was 37 percent man crazy crazy performance and it just keeps on giving man we're just we just keep farming i'm being very selfish this game as well because i just noticed wow shirko you're really hitting a lot of them huh you're not being a useless piece of garbage potato this time so maybe you should take some more farm because you can really carry this team and that is exactly what we're doing here we are running away from this lucario though i go back to heal um and i go back in we line up that solar beam not too much damage there onto the crustal that was using its unite move and once again a dreadnought situation the uh, greninja comes in gets bursted to half health my um zera aura doesn't even finish the job i thought he was gonna get that takedown but wasn't able to now we get a little bit bopped by that mr mime but i am able to get under my point i'm able to get the heals from the point the shield so we are just able to get this takedown and once again a dreadnought situation hmm i wonder how that will turn out well it turns into a double kill and the dreadnought stolen for me once again second dreadnought steal of the game Hey guys, I wasn't promising too much, man. This is just a really insane gameplay, man. I was on fire in this one. Absolutely crazy. And we get another one there. Huge damage from that snipe. Cremorant finishes off that takedown as well. And we are quite literally killing it, you know? We're killing it, as in the phrase that you use in the language, in the English language, when you want to say you're doing something good. And we're also killing the enemies and these wild Pokemon. So we're killing everything, man. You know what? I'm also smashing that poop. Huh? That was weird, man. Did you hear that? Man, I need to close my window next time when I record these videos. The wind is just crazy, man. It makes these crazy sounds. But yeah, as you can see, the Zapdos situation. Well, I sure wonder how that one will turn out. Mm, we'll see but we have uh we, we have the range advantage with this build as always man i'm just gonna stand back and i'm just gonna keep poking these enemies great score there by my venusaur uh, by my greninja excuse me uh, now we're in a pretty decent lead here we're definitely comfy now we just need to secure the zapdos or stop the enemies from doing it and we will be fine i thought the unite move to run away that that Lucario really dealing a ton of damage. I'm able to get the takedown. Now I have to run away from that little uh, crustal. Not able to though. We almost finish up the Lucario before that happens. I believe he survived with like 100 health. And now it is all up to my team. And um, you know, you know, you know, guys. When we have to last hit two Dreadnoughts. To, to get them, you know, from long range, and the team was already dead, something similar might happen to that Zapdos. And here I was getting a little bit angry because that Greninja really likes to miss those Shuriken, guys. Really, really loves to miss those. So luckily, I, I um, respawned though. Now let's see if we will have an utmost satisfying finish as well. Boom! No, sir we do not get it 
But we can still win, we can still win. We're still in a lead, in a slight lead, but in a lead nonetheless. Now if this Snorlax blocks him, didn't block him. Use the block too late. Middle, the Cremorant is trying to, oh man. Oh man, six seconds left, Cremorant is trying to score. Is that gonna work? Probably not, guys. Ooh, Shurko gets a little bit mad there. Starts the Surrender Vault. Oh, didn't we have a jolly good time? Yeah, we did, guys. 14 takedowns, 8 assists, man. We had some crazy mouth breathers. It is what it is. Very unfortunate. As you can see, our rating is below 1100, which is really interesting. Really interesting, you know, the solo queue experience. Super fun in this game, but hey, do not worry. I like to upload some losses. We had a little bit too many losses lately, but hey, it's fine. 110,000 damage, 38, almost 39%. Um, damage dealt, I thought it's 37. Crazy, guys. Absolutely mental. I don't know, man. I think this build is amazing. Um, energy amplifier just adds on top of it. You don't really need it. You can play with that focus ban. Maybe if I had focus ban in that last team fight, I would have been able to survive a little bit longer. But, hey, definitely still works incredibly well. Let me know what you guys think about this amazing, satisfactory loss. And, with that being said, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.